Stars and Stripes RC here. My camera lady is uh, out of town. She went back home to the Philippines to visit. Um, but uh, I have the free wing ME262 here. Uh, for those of you that saw my maiden video from yesterday, Man, uh, I have nothing bad to say about this. I had no bad tendencies. I didn't expect it to go as well as it did because uh, uh, some of the videos I watched prior to getting it, um, the thing just flew amazing. And it's fast, let me tell you, it's fast. It's adrenaline pumping. Um, the uh, CG, I would imagine, would be critical. Um, obviously, you don't want too much battery weight up front on the nose gear. Then it probably won't rotate. Or, obviously, and everybody, everybody knows, if you have too much weight towards the tail, you're going to be tail heavy. Uh, so I guess I could say in any airplane, uh, CG is critical, but on this particular one, um, I marked my CG by the manual, um, and I used a six cell 5,000 milliamp pack, which seemed to be the right lipo for it. it I can't say how much I liked how it flew, but anyway, so uh, not having a 5,000 milliamp 6 cell, I'm going to be attempting the uh, 6 cell 5200, which is not much heavier than a 5,000. Um, so I'll, I'll try that lipo on and I'll, I'll see how that goes. Get a second flight video. Um, uh, also, on some of the YouTube videos that I watched, people when they made it, or even seasoned guys, um, I'm not sure what's causing it, but when they would take off, once it once it did lift off the ground, I would notice it would drop a wing. Now I don't know. Help me out here, guys. Uh, those of you that have had that problem, uh, I don't know if they're just going too slow on takeoff or, or, or too fast. I don't know. I uh, When I took mine off, I eased into the throttle up, up to probably close to full throttle, and... Uh, it rotated right away whenever I inputted some elevator, up elevator. Uh, which brings me to another point. <clears throat> a lot of the guys on these channels that flew it or uh, got several comments on my YouTube channel from guys that flew it said to be prepared because it's gonna lift off on its own. Uh, one guy even said, "Oh, just you know, hold a little bit of down elevator on your on your takeoff, and then once you get up to speed, let off your elevator, and it'll take off on its own." Uh, it didn't do that. I didn't need to hold any down elevator to keep it keep it on the runway uh, for the length of uh, rollout I had on takeoff. Um, I just eased into the power, got it up to speed. Pulled the hair back on the elevator and it rotated. It it just did great. Um, I uh, probably will be getting a couple of six cell five thousands um, just to have for this plane. Um, but again, I'll try the fifty two hundreds. Uh, I have not done uh, the uh, carbon rod mod 
on the nose gear or a should say on the uh, front end of the plane yet uh, to do that without cutting into the foam and doing it that way I'd have to have a drill bit long enough to do it um, and I thought eh, I'll uh, I'll just give it a shot without doing that modification before my first flight and uh, but but people say the front end break off. Uh, I think as long as you flare this just right at the end on your landing and then let off the elevator and cut the power, it should it should be fine. Um, so it would come in on the mains, cut your power, let off the elevator, cut your power, and it should settle down nicely on the nose gear. Now, on my flight, <clears throat> I had a little crosswind which kind of veered me off the run, the paved runway. I was lined up for it nice, but then it, it veered off with a crosswind onto the grass, which is no problem. Um, because the grass right now is kind of short. I don't plan to do that again when the grass gets taller. Uh, but at any rate, I mean, I think if you land it just right or, you know, and don't get a, one of those EDF bounces going on, then you should be fine. But I still plan to do that mod on mine. Uh, I wanted to show you one other thing before I sign off here. Uh, I wanted to show you where I placed my battery, um, and again, this is a six cell 5200 in here, but I'll show you where I placed the 5000. And you can see where I've got that marked uh, right there for 5000. So, it's uh, about a about an inch and a half or so from the from here back. Um, I'm guessing about the same here too. Uh, but it's right in the middle of that area. I can grab my. My ruler here. Sorry about that, guys. So, yeah, from the uh, front bulkhead, it's about an inch and a half back. And from the rear, I was right. About an inch and a half back. Well, it's it's a it's a little less than an inch and a half back from there. But anyway, you see what I'm saying. Um, but that's where I placed the four thousand. I did not need any trim in the air. This thing just flew amazing. Uh, I had didn't have any elevator aileron or rudder trim needed. Of course, that helps when you. Uh, manually set it up on the ground and, 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 you know, make sure all your trims and sub trims are zeroed out, power it up before you hook up the control rods, um, and manually adjust everything level. Don't depend on just sub trimming stuff. Uh, these ailerons are on a Y. Um, so the really only way to do it is to manually do it before you fly it. So, but anyway, uh, I want to thank you for watching. This is the ME262 by Freewing. Uh, if you're wanting something to get your drilling going, this is what you need to get right here. Thanks for watching.